uh, in this short video I would like to uh, present uh, a little trick that I use sometimes to uh, debug .NET application when I don't have the source code and yeah basically it's nothing fancy because uh, having the uh, intermediate language in .NET application makes it really easy to debug uh, for example, using the NSPY, it has uh, ability to debug, but uh, it cannot debug, uh, for example, web pages. So basically, if you have a web application uh, running from Visual Studio, uh, we can't uh, debug them in the NSPY. So I uh, have this little trick to, uh, that allows me to debug the web pages. And I would like to show you how to, how to do it. Uh, and basically this uh, video is inspired by some question that sometimes I answer on Stack Overflow. A uh, question like uh, this, so actually uh, when running debugger from Xe, how do you view the source code? And I uh, yeah, answer that you can use uh, .pick. And this, this is the tool I will show you um, how to configure to allow uh, debugging uh, applications, especially web pages in this case, because as I said, uh, if you want to debug just a console application, you can use the NSPY for that. Uh, and this video is uh, actually inspired by this question uh, I answered on uh, information security. So basically, uh, there was a question why in ASP.NET 4.0, sometimes uh, adding this script with alert, which actually is like dangerous uh, uh, request, triggers this uh, a potentially dangerous request exception and sometimes it doesn't. So I checked the source code uh, with uh, ReSharper, but it actually was quite hard to understand why it does not trigger uh, just from looking at the source code. So I decided, well, we need to debug it. So uh, yeah, so basically some time ago, Microsoft released the uh, symbols for numerous uh, .NET assemblies, but actually for system web, which is uh, used uh, mostly for ASP.NET application, we have some symbols, but those symbols do not allow us to debug the, the code. So we can use JetBrains.pick to actually, uh, for that purpose. Uh, JetBrains.pick is a free tool, and if you install it, you can go you can go to Tools and Options, and there's a symbol server, and basically this is what we will use to debug uh, web pages. So we'll set up our own symbol server that will, uh, when requested, uh, answer with a PDB file, a symbol file with the, all the information that it's needed to actually debug and how I configure it uh, here. So you can select, uh, let's call it a level, what assemblies should be um, served from this symbol server. I think this all assembly might be uh, too many assemblies uh, and all theirs are not suitable for us because this will be a .NET framework assembly. It is in GAC, it's not from uh, NuGet. So I will set this assemblies open in assembly explorer. So any assembly I open here, it will be uh, the PDBs file will be served from uh, .NET uh, JetBrains.pick symbol server and not from the official symbol server. So what I do now, I will just uh, copy this address to my clipboard. I'll cancel this window and now in Visual Studio, I need to set up the Visual Studio correctly. So I go to Tools, Options, and in this uh, debugging symbols, I already added uh, here, but let's remove it to show it. So basically I will just uh, press the plus and paste the address here and just, just okay. It. Okay, so now uh, let's see what was the issue here. So the issue here was that uh, when we use the uh, script with alert, it will trigger the uh, potentially dangerous request. And let's see um, my short analysis. So basically the origin origin for this exception is in determined post back mode. So let's just copy this and try to break uh, in that method. So in order to break there, I will just add a new breakpoint and it will be the function breakpoint. So it will not be a line breakpoint, it will 
break on a specific function and we can trigger here we can uh, like paste the name so whenever the function name will be determined in post back mode in c sharp language will just break so i added that it will break always and what i have here is just a simple uh, web application this is just a generated from from the template nothing nothing changed here and yeah so basically if i now press uh, run okay it will not work because i forgot about one thing so i will just stop this and i, I forgot to start the symbol server of course i need to start it so basically here it's a start symbol server and now we have a small icon here and it should uh, send the PDBs uh, when it's being requested. So I will start again. And now let's see, okay. And we see some requests are being uh, sent to the um, to our symbol server, but actually, uh, yeah, we did not get the breakpoint. So why why is that? Oh, we, we did get, but this assembly is displaying in round mode. Okay, so we didn't actually uh, got the symbols from our assembly and why is that because it is open here so it should request so let's see if our module is opened okay we have a symbol web but it did not ask for a symbol so maybe let's try to load the symbols and now the symbols are loaded so let's try again and now, okay, we did get a breakpoint in the, our method. So the symbols were loaded from, uh, from the um, jetbrains.pick. You can see here, it says like PDB files in the cache because I just pre, uh, pre did that uh, before the recording. So I have the, uh, the file in the cache, but maybe let's try to uh, see if I will just, let's try to, remove the symbols and see how they are being generated. Uh, okay, I can't uh, show it here. So let's just quickly uh, show you how it's being done. So if I go again to um, debug options, I will just symbols, I will just copy this, or maybe even we can just, we can't just browse. Let's copy the path. Let's just go here. So here are the symbols being stored. And if I like just delete this symbol web, okay, I can't do it now because it's being used, of course, but let's just stop. Let's just delete it from here. Just, just go here, clear the, clear the list. And let's try to debug this again, because I want to show you how this file is being regenerated. So it's not being loaded because I need to manually trigger it modules let's just load symbols now the symbols being loaded okay it still says it's in the cache hmm that's interesting because i think i just deleted them so maybe it still caches uh, those symbols somewhere anyway it's a big file you see 16 megabytes so it takes a while to to generate that file uh but basically if we uh that we can show on something else. So if I go here and change to all assemblies, and now if I request like, for example, system core load symbols, it's also in the, so I think I pre-cached all the symbols that were, uh, suppose I just wanted to show you, uh, Okay, so now this perf I didn't generate, so you can see the file is being generated uh, and it, it will take a while. And the system web is quite big. It's, as you could see, 16 megabytes symbol. So it, it's taking a while. So even it's good that I pre-generated it before because then I would have to wait to generate those symbols. But basically this is how it looks. So the request is being sent. The JetBrains.pick uh, symbol server takes the takes the request, uh, process the, uh, the request, generate the um, PDB, uh, PDB files. And this is actually another request being sent. Uh, probably it was uh, impatient. The Visual Studio was impatient and 
uh, send the request again. And okay, so we are here. So let's see if we actually can make something of this uh, determine, determine post back. So we see we can't actually step through, um, step through the code. Actually, there is no, uh, there is no uh, actually parameters to the request being sent. So actually, we exit early uh, here. But if we, for example, add this script alert one two three script and do the request again, we could break here and we can debug and see why in one case we actually get this exception that uh, dangerous. Um, potentially dangerous request uh, was sent. And if we like, for example, add this, it will not be uh, triggered. So we will just uh, safely pass through through the code. And, and basically it's uh, what I described here in this uh, answer, so we can read it. But basically this is, uh, yeah, uh, in one case it's tr uh, treated as a, a key name and those are encoded before sending to the code. And in one case, it's considered as a value without a key. So that's why uh, with a value, it triggers this exception. But it was really nice um, investigation and really nice uh, use of this jetbrains.pick. So I hope uh, you find it useful. And yeah, uh, now you know how to set up the .pick symbol server to pick up uh, symbol generation and use them for uh, debugging when you actually don't have the source code source code or you can't use symbols that are provided by Microsoft because they are not enough uh, to debug. So thanks and see you next time.